Alright, so this is going to be a cute little vlog to say the least, I think. There's a nuisance raccoon that's bothering my friend uh, Ron. It keeps taking his garbage out of the garbage cans and spreading it around. He says it's a huge coon. Uh, 40, 50 pounds, something like that. That's, that's his guess. Um, we'll see how big it really is, but uh, he says it's really big. Um, I'm going to go over there tonight and I'm going to bring some traps with me. And we're going to set up a little trap line for a single raccoon. A single monster raccoon. A wall hanger. So, uh, I don't know. Hold on to your pants, man. It's going to be cute. It's going to be crazy. You know, uh, the one thing that's a problem is uh, dogs and cats um, could get in the traps. Because it's a, a residential area. So, I'm going to bring um, coon cuffs. Which are designed to only catch raccoons. Um, because raccoons use their hands kind of like we do to grab food and shove it into their face. Um, unlike cats and dogs. So, they reach into the coon cuff and it catches, it catches them. Whereas it doesn't catch other animals that are, that are, uh, you know, un unwanted in the traps. <sighs> Just gearing up now. I'm also gearing up for a, a pike vlog at the same exact time. And I just showered and so many things are going on. I just tiddly winked my phone into Murphy's asshole. Um, I don't know what's really going on. So, a little lightheaded. I gotta focus and get this thing done. We got a job to do. Well, here's the coon cuffs. A little bit of trapping wire. And a chain just in case I need a little extra distance to uh, hook it up to a drag. Now, these coon cuffs are real simple. All that happens is uh, this part right here that's spring-loaded gets bent down all the way. And then the latch comes in over it and holds in place. And then that latch secures to a lever on the inside. And that lever is pressed by the raccoon when he reaches in and tries to eat the little morsel inside. Or grab it, grab it to eat, I should say. And then uh, this springs back up and it holds his arm in place. Daylight's turning to moonlight fast. I better get going around. I'm going to set these traps up in time. Just a sample. First part of the dinner, man. These sausages are the best sausages i ever had in my life. What are they again? As Asiago cheese and roasted pepper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Roasted, yeah roasted pepper Asiago. Yeah, dude, they're so good. Well, there's dinner, man. Fanciest dinner I've had in a while. Man, there's so many different things. This sauce is made with walleye. It's insane. Got um, some sort of special Swiss cheese on top, peppers and tomatoes, and uh, and these Asiago sausages in it, and the walleye in it, all on top of noodles with uh, spices and stuff. Oh, it's just incredible. There's so many different flavors, and this is amazing. All right, I accidentally crashed super hard at Ron's. I woke up at midnight, so that's when I'm gonna set these coon cuffs. I just wired them together with some trapping wire. I might need this chain here to get to a decent drag. And I might need this extra wire here and wire cutters. I'm gonna need a little piece of bait, so I got a sausage and a fish. Piece of sausage piece of bluegill. Some extra light so you guys can see what I'm doing. All I'm going to do is go over to Ron's garden here. Set these bad boys up.
These pin cuffs are always a pain in the butt to set. It's strong coil spring then. But you set them like this. I wish I had just like a single marshmallow. That'd be perfect. But I don't, so I'm going with fish guts. Fish guts and fish sides in this one. Trying to get this in here without dying. <laughs> I do not want to get caught. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's all set. I'm going to fill this other one with sausage first, before I set it. You need a little shred the sausage. Alright, leave that out in front of the trap. Squeeze this bad boy down <laughs> with the force of a thousand gods and set the trigger. Relatively simple trap. Trigger flies, but then the dog flies. I think it's called the dog. The that lever bar holding it to the trigger, and uh, trigger flies because he reaches in there, and then this thing flies up, and then this thing flies up and cuffs him. Two coon cuffs set up. Now I just gotta wire this chain to the picnic table so he doesn't get away. And then connect that chain to the uh, connect that same chain to the the two coon cuffs. Just connecting the traps to the chain now. I got this chain connected up to the picnic table right there. <clears throat> got both these traps connected. 
either spinny parts, whatever that's called. <clears throat> Hopefully this raccoon is stupid. That's all I can say. So it's about 6 in the morning now, and I have great news. We got a raccoon. It wasn't the big raccoon we were going for, but we're going to keep going for him after uh, we get this little raccoon out of the traps. It's an exciting day, man. You know, I mean, any raccoon is a good raccoon. It's pretty awesome. Got him in just one of those coon cuffs. The other one, I, I don't know, maybe it, I don't know if it got set off, to be honest. Um... But that's all you need. Just one coon cuff in the in the forearm. Yeah, girl. Now I already took care of him, so no one has to complain about me about me shooting the animal during the middle of the vlog. But he's all taken care of. Oh, nice small coon. Pretty awesome. And just the first, you might get another one, you know. Apparently that big one is like four times bigger than this guy. Man, that's exciting. Sweet. He got all tangled up here. And this wrapped himself around that. And just pop him out here. He's a, he's definitely dead. There we go. See, it doesn't break their bones or anything. It just just holds them in place. Nice solid raccoon. Friggin' awesome, man. Definitely. I don't know, 10 to 12 pounds, I'd say. Little guy. Crows already want him, but you're not going to get him. He's my raccoon.